Are all black people like you? I say, Brett Howell, your name is Brett Howell. Are all black people like me? I say, I'm the dumbest. <laughs> yes, they're all like me and more powerful than me. But how come they're not doing what you're doing? You kill the blind man. You kill my daughter of ulcers. Could they do that? I said, they could do it better than you, than me. But why aren't they doing it? Because they're afraid of you. I'm not afraid of God. I'm not afraid of the devil. <laughs> I'm not afraid of anything, especially you. Because I don't live in fear. <laughs> so I say, Brad Howell, the black man of America is afraid of you white people. Because you guys made him afraid of you. And you should not feel good about that. It's not about me hating white people, loving white people, loving black or hating black. It's about understanding. Nobody's going to help us but us. Nobody in this world, whether white, black, Chinese, or Arab, could help us. It's impossible for them to help us. Why? Because they don't know us. They're not of our genetical predisposition. Look. As a Christian, I used to eat pork. <laughs> of course I eat pork, and I love it. But as a Muslim, I eat lamb, which is ten times worse than pork. <laughs> so, so what do I do? Who do I turn to? So, after I quit my job, the boss said, wait just a minute, because I think you're crazy. <laughs> you're leaving your job as a steam engineer in 1980, when herbs in 1980, I'm making $2,900 a month. I'm going to leave my job with 10 years seniority to come after some herb that you didn't like. Why did I do this? I had to do it. It wasn't that I could see that far. I can't see Beyond my nose, talk about years ahead, but I had to quit my job. And I had to question myself, why am I doing this? But I did. And 1980, 